congratulations for watching this video online guys you guys are trying to you are striving how to you know earn something from ad mob so it's not a problem not even only on ad mob if you are earning from adsense ad mob or the likes you really need this particular you know um advice i'm going to give you because you know many people will just make this mistake at the end of the day they'll just be you know they'll be depressed trying to do something demotivated at the end of the day you know i received my payment last month but through some series of steps from admo as you can see once you scroll down go to your payment page but before you go to your payment page click the like button because this video is sponsored by the like button click the like button because you know it does not you know you, you must not be a good person to, to click the like button you must not be a bad person to click on the like button you just have to be you to click the like button because this motivation is going to you know take you to a long journey in your life <laughs> i'm just joking so just click the like button and let's go there because it's going to help you click on payment once you click on payment your payment page is going to load up you can see this is what uh, they paid me last month, which is $98, about approximately $99, right? So they paid me that last month, and now they want my earning to reach the payment ratio before they pay me once again, and it's actually moving. So if you come to this edge, you're going to see how you get paid. You know, you can see how you get paid by wire transfer. So let's click on manage payment method. So if you come to this payment method page, you have to do something. If you if you if you if you don't have any issue with your payment, then there's no problem. But if you have an issue, then make sure to fix it. So if you can see, this is actually wire transfer. So the, this account, if you are from Nigeria, this is going to be beneficial to you guys or other countries as well. If you want to add payment method, for example, click on add payment method. They're going to bring you to a fresh page. And from there, you can see add new wire transfer details. Once you click on that, because they're going to pay you, you know, directly to your account. And from here, they will request you to input your account number. This is where the issue lies. This is, this is where the issue lies. So I want to give you a takeaway on this account number issue. So, but before then, this video is going to be really beneficial. Just click the like button because I want this thing to break out the algorithm. So as for a lot of guys to see this, I'm not trying to waste your time, but I'm trying to, you know, help you gain something. If you are using your Naira account in Nigeria here and you have not get gotten paid before, then make sure to create what's called domiciliary account. Domiciliary account is just like a dollar account in Nigeria. If you are in Nigeria and you are working, you know, getting dollars from outside, you know, or outside the country, you can just make sure to create a domiciliary account. It's very easy. You can create it, you know, using your phone or you can go to the bank to create it. But I really advise you to go to the bank, create your domiciliary account. It's just in few minutes you are done. Once you create your domiciliary account, they give you a domiciliary account number. The domiciliary account number will allow you to receive money directly from outside. You can receive in dollars and withdraw in dollars. You are going to withdraw directly from the cashier once the money once you cash in then you withdraw the money you cash it out and from there you can exchange it either from the bank or go to the black market and exchange the money let me show you the picture of me you know holding my dollars when i, I received my first payment so how was that that was just a peek. you know i want to show you guys the the, uh, the implication of this the first time I did this was that I input my Naira account number and once the money reaches my account, it did not reach the account, you know, immediately. I was expecting the money from 21st, 23rd or 27th, but the money did not reach. So, once I contacted UBA Bank at their head office in Lagos, they told me that I was using a Naira account because I didn't, that's why I did not receive the alert. And once, what they did was that they received the money and automatically created the domiciliary account for me. So they gave me the account number, you know, on the phone call there. I wrote it down and they told me to, to go to the bank to complete the whole process. When I went to the bank, they asked me to bring my passport, to link my passport to the account. And once I linked the passport and everything was done. So, so once I finished, once they, they linked it, I just took the this thing. I went to the cashier and I cashed out my money. And from there, I just, you know, did the exchange and I went out of the bank. And that was how the whole thing worked out. So if you don't want to have this particular problem or issue of delayed payment, you can just make sure to create a domiciliary account. From with your domiciliary account, it just you know it will have access. Like you are going to use the same BVN, just your BVN. So with that domiciliary account, you can just paste in the domiciliary account number here, and then from there you just get paid directly to your domiciliary account in dollars. Then you just go to the bank and give them your domiciliary account number, and then they will just withdraw the money for you. 
and also you can use the domiciliary account for all your online payment that involve dollars let's assume you're in nigeria you want to receive online payment you don't even have to be using all those there if, if you are if you have issues with paypal or all those kind of stuff if you don't want to use it, if you just want to be having dollars you just need it to give you you need you just need to give them your domiciliary account number from there they will send the money you see the alert on your phone after after i've gone to the bank to verify some stuff so let me just show you the alert on my domiciliary account so if you can see here you can see here is the debit alert on my on this particular phone number you know here is the domiciliary account you can see 80 80 usd and uh, this is the balance as you can see so i'm just trying to show you everything you know personal source for you guys to learn this lesson don't stress yourself if you haven't cashed out before just go to your bank create a domiciliary account paste it here and it'll just be done for you whenever you do this you just receive your payment anything from 21st to 23rd you know it will be easier for you and you can do some other online stuff using your domiciliary account if you want to learn more about the domiciliary account there are a lot of videos there you know for you to learn from just made this video because i don't want you guys to go through the pains you know of waiting for your payment or all those kind of stuff if you enjoyed the video follow me on instagram Haru ng follow me on facebook and also like this video subscribe catch you in the next one peace out